shot. Review of our castle. Day 85. Starting with a little two in G Rock up there to get a view and a perspective of our castle. The G Rock up there is not yet uh, my most uh, <laughs> efficient way to travel particularly for short distances say if you want to go fast to a, a trader that's really great right here it's not the best mean of transportation but that permitted to get a little uh, aerial view of our castle now our castle is designed with a drawbridge entrance of course you will say we have a motion sensor to detect when we are arriving. Here is our garage. I put the car here for the fun, but typically uh, we either use the motorcycle or the car, depending if I'm playing alone or with uh, my friends. Now, brief little tour around here. That's the main uh, zombie entrance or a pedestrian entrance in case we are not arriving by the drawbridge side. Zombies can easily arrive here. We have uh, the auto turret uh, to intercept them and mostly to make noise and uh, uh, we can react accordingly. A uh, little motion sensor and light to uh, light this entire place. We have our uh, castle tower up there uh, with a nice shooting angle to here. And uh, our bedroom here just above has also a nice position to here. So every floor uh, we have different uh, ways to shoot at this position. So that's a cool looking castle uh, while being at the same time pretty effective actually in terms of uh, defense. Not for a whole night, we have a separate base for the whole night. Uh, that's where we live, where we craft. Okay, so I'll do a little tour floor by floor. Here we had our first uh, workbench, chemistry station, and uh, we have at the back another room here for uh, which was originally the electrical room, but due to preparation for whole night, <laughs> we doubled it up and have a two uh, second uh, workbench and chemistry station. A little uh, pathway here. Uh, leads us to the uh, basement if we can say like that we try not to be here not to attract any zombies here and uh, a little access here to the mine and the tunnel uh, that permits us to go to the hot base underground that's one of the features of our castle uh, one second uh, uh. So another back door we have at the ground floor, ready to go, of course, at our entrance, is the armory. So in our armory here we have obviously <laughs> guns, uh, all type of guns, tactical assault rifle, gun, shotgun, different type of shotgun. Here are our different type of bows, turrets, crossbow, me are more uh, a crossbow fan, but uh, it depends on the people. Here are all the mods, the paths. So recently we did a big, big sale, so uh, we have less parts now. <laughs> this sale was crazy. We made more than a hundred thousand dukes. Um, finally, all our uh, spare melee weapons and uh, uh, area damage ones. Above the ceiling, the ammo. We had ammunition boxes, but they are actually very weak, so we never know. Uh, better use a simple... Uh, chests at the end of the day and some recipes between beta things are changing and we might need to uh, use it um, at some point in time and some armor piecing bullets here for whole night good um, then here next when we come back from a trip outside in another city for example we have a quick and easy uh, dropping here of our different let me put some light yeah, uh, quick and easy dropping vehicle cars, parts, and crafting ingredients, construction materials, metals, of course, the forges. Keep it easy. Uh, I see uh, in some of uh, other YouTubers uh, they have like 10, 15 forges 
uh, for me um, four s uh, three or four four gs is it's enough uh, we don't need really more than that to be honest one full for uh, metal don't need oh, one second we are 30. good and uh, one for uh, cement and one for everything like bullet tips bullet casings reinforced glass all this stuff um, finally the tools obviously with just so many tools fantastic ogre chainsaw I mean we are in an end game and the 85 oh <laughs> I don't know let's uh, let's fix that uh, ah looks better right good then we have our uh, nice little uh, stairs and trains here going up to the living quarters. We start by the library where you know we have a couple of books, some cooking recipes, books we have in double here that we were able to bring back, etc. And we then have our living room. Unfortunately, in this game, we cannot see it there and all this, but that looks cool. Also, it's perfectly aligned, you know, with the entrance at the bottom. So it gives some uh, very nice uh, lighting effects uh, seen from outside. Our kitchen, a very structured kitchen. We here have the drinks, you know, all type of coffees, teas, yucca juices and smoothies. Here is gardening seeds. Uh, our different uh, ingredients to make drinks. We have enough snow for the smoothies. Here are the ingredients for cooking with all the different type of cans and meat, of course. Here are the cans that are not useful, except the ravioli, uh, the spaghetti, they are useful, but we just have so many. Then here we have the, the food, the real food to eat. And finally, it's our sampler menu. We are just missing one that the spaghetti is. When we will get the spaghetti, we'll make a video and compare all this food and uh, the pro and cons of which one versus which one. Just need one last food and we'll do that. Um, that's uh, therefore our kitchen. Here, to uh, continue a bit in our uh, defensive features, we have here this position where we can obviously protect our doors under. We can see some fight that happened here. <laughs> uh, obviously, we have another good uh, position to shoot at them here. Our garden. So this garden is not uh, the most efficient garden. We could have uh, fit more plants, but that garden looks cool. Uh, that's uh, meant to be this way. We did some uh, changes at some point in time to put coffee, but they re recently changed blueberry. I don't know why, why, why it's blueberry like that now. But that's our cool looking garden. You will see from above we have a really nice view in our garden. Our dog house. Okay. In this game we cannot get a dog. But that's cool to get a dog house. <laughs> um, now moving upstairs. No need for a weapon here. Uh, we will start by the friend's chamber, uh, you know, uh, when we have guests, we have a guest room. We had a friend, he played here with us for quite some time, that was cool. Um, issue is that due to the latest experimental, there was a change and his character got reset to the basic, so took a break. Let's see when. It's a stable version of 19. Here is our walking closet. Uh, we can see all our glasses, cigars, night vision goggles. All our different modes and parts. Our uh, different type of armors. We have not split uh, heavy ammo and light ammo. Maybe in a future game we should do that to have a more uh, organized uh, walking closet. Yeah. Winter clothes when we go in the, in the east. We have a winter biome. In the south we have the desert biome. T-shirt, shorts. Now here the uh, running faster uh, jackets and the hazmat suit. I'm not sure if the hazmat suit is uh, useful anymore. I think I think nowadays it's just uh, worth uh, selling, I suppose. I don't know if you guys know. Please let me know in the comments. Um, 
And then in our uh, last uh, walking closet, it's different type of clothes. Me, I'm fond of the BDU bottoms and BDU tops. Uh, and we have, of course, all the dice. Yeah, you can see that here. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you see, I have this cool looking, I think, uh, I like this uh, style. Okay, I, I often uh, switch off glasses depending on uh, what I'm doing. I'm fond of heavy armor anyway, you have so many buffs to reduce the, uh, the mobility losses, the stamina losses. Look at the uh, overall, what am I there? Where is that? It's here. I have a pretty high armor rating and my stamina per second is relatively high I feel. Mobility above 80%, that's fine, that's fine. And then when you have some perks here, pretty cool perks, where is that perk? When you, uh, you don't suffer, it's here. Yes, armor doesn't slow you down when in combat. I mean that one is uh, it's just it's just so great. Therefore, you yeah, I mean, sorry, <laughs> we were talking about the walking closet and we ended up talking about the armor. There is just so much to talk about in this game. Yes, we need to do more videos. Here we have our uh, bedroom of uh, Absara and I. Uh, that's uh, where the magic happens. <laughs> and uh, no more. So you see here our revive chest. Um, my one, the wife, of my uh, the one for Sarah here. Our bed rolls and access uh, both from the corridors quickly is the bathrooms. Where in our bathrooms, <laughs> funny cable here. In the bathrooms we have the. Um, Ingredients you can see we have tons of testosterone, aloe vera, everything we need here. Uh, our meds, our first aid kits, antibiotics, equivalent, plasters, vitamins, everything is here. Very safe. There is a very low chance that uh, we get broken, broken by zombies. And at the high flow. So we have here our. Uh, tower as you can see we have very nice position early on uh, we didn't know if it would really be working this so we were in a possibility to shoot at other angles and we considered to build a tower like this at the four corners but in fact 99% uh, of the time zombies really come by the entrance meant for them so we don't we don't need more than that that's okay it's also cool looking to just have one nice nice tower right of course from the roof we have a little jump in we have here some minimum supplies to repair the uh, iron bars, some bullets. We had a sniper rifle here, but I think uh, one of the friends took it for now. Good. And then we have the little door. So from our bedroom uh, here, we have this access to quickly, bam, 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 you know, take action if needed. So every floor, we have a possibility to act rapidly. Good. And then here, moving to the main place. But then uh, I didn't show this feature yet. We have from the ground floor up to there this uh, ladder access. That's the only way outside to get up and down in the castle. Uh, inside, obviously, we have the beautiful uh, large stairs. But uh, in case of emergency outside, you need that ladder. Here we have our uh, tower. Uh, I really like the, the roof. How we designed it. We discussed for a long time if it should be taller than the deck, but uh, I like like that. Yeah. And uh, well, as you can see, we have our garden, pumpkin, mushroom, tons of corn. Obviously, it's needed for so many recipes. Coffee, our super corn. I, I feel a bit the super corn. We have plenty of super corn in stock. It's not very useful in game. That's how it is. And we have one of our latest acquisitions. The solar panels with a solar bank. So you can see we have a pretty strong solar bank with an output of 130 watts and a power consumption of 58 watts. Our battery bank, fully kitted, not very useful. And we still have our backup generator here. If ever needed, it's there. A bit of gas, some tools, in case, in case needed. As you can see, we have a nice garden. There it is, that's the tour of our castle. Uh, 
if you like it please give it a like and subscribe and uh, we'll see each other soon for new videos about our hot hot bases and uh, more videos to follow cheers